I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. You cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the Collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another uh, Mass Effect 2 video. I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you so much. A huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every single day around 2 p.m. Eastern or around every single day, I should say. Uh, I sincerely appreciate you. And another shout out to those of you leaving likes and comments, like super thank you uh, beyond. And also, I just want to give a shout out to our newest patron over on patreon.com slash Missledyne Online. Dimitrinov, thank you so much. So, in this episode, we are gonna do some work. We just recruited Morden Solis, this badass uh, Solarian scientist, the Solarian scientist, really, uh, who's going to help us fight the Collectors. And uh, we need to kind of catch up on what's going on with that and all of the research and everything that that entails. So, that, my friends, is what we're doing right now. And the first thing that we are going to do, which I am so excited about, I've been talking about it for, I don't know, eight episodes now. My friends, we are getting heavy charge for our Vanguard, which is so exciting. Your biotic focus is so intense that not only does the charge flatten enemies, your reaction speed is increased, slowing the world around you as you come out of the charge. Uh, six second recharge time on charge now, which is wild. Ranged 40 meters, impact force 750 newtons. Oh, I'm sorry, I I was confused for a second. I was like, wait a minute, what do you mean? What do you what do you mean uh, impact force? Uh, heavy charge. Sorry. Six second. Uh, six seconds. 400. Uh, 40 meters. 1,000 newtons of pressure. Shield strength 100% of maximum maximum strength, and the shield lasts for four seconds. That is huge, my friends. And then area charge. Who cares? Your mass effect field now bursts on impacts and you know, you're not gonna but you get 75%. The point is we go heavy charge. Heavy charge is incredibly good. We get the trophy power full uh, because we upgraded that entirely. We have zero squad points now, but my gosh, are we now incredibly powerful. Also, I just want to point out that uh, we did finish the dossier, the professor, but the plague cured. Morden, Morden Solis is now free to join the mission. And that is exactly what he did as he is standing right there looking awesome. Uh, but we are going to research some things first. So the first thing that we're uh, going to upgrade is actually going to be our heavy weapon uh, research, the ammo, whatever you want to call it. There we go. We get the scientist trophy for using that. You'll also see that we increased received heavy weapon plus 15% ammo capacity, which is very good. And I, and I definitely, definitely recommend getting that. We also can now get the uh the uh ml77 missile launcher or we can get uh, uh soon once we get one more heavy weapon ammo we'll be able to get the avalanche which is incredibly strong uh, but we're not going to worry about either of those right now we're kind of fine with the heavy weapons that we have and we're not going to get any of the infernal inferno armor or the uh any of the other things just yet uh, instead, what we're going to do is upgrade our weapons. We're going to upgrade our submachine gun damage. And as much as we can, we'll get the SMG shield piercing, which squad bonus plus 50% submachine gun damage against shields and biotic barriers, uh, which is pretty useful, especially if you yourself are going to be using those. Uh, we could do the assault weapon damage, which is going to increase our... Uh, our parties, our squads, assault rifles, and since so many of our squad does use assault rifles, it works. We can also increase our metagel, which of course we're going to do, and we can increase it even more, which of course we're going to do, and we can get emergency shielding, unity, restored squad member shields to full, full strength, which is incredibly useful. So we're going to go ahead and get that. And then we also have trauma module, unity heals your squad to full health, which is very, very useful. You can now use unity even if no one's dead right to heal yourselves which is which is a good thing and tech damage we're going to increase which is going to increase our tech power damage by 20 percent so things like overload or incinerate or any of that tech duration we're going to increase that squad bonus plus 20 percent duration for all tech powers uh which is huge and that's pretty much all we can do right now uh we couldn't get all of these but we're gonna we're gonna wait just a little bit on the prototypes and more important we want to make sure that we go and talk to everybody that's on our our squad and uh see what we can do so this is all of the upgrades that you currently have so you can see you know what have we researched 
that. That's what you researched. We could buy pretty much a lot more of the prototypes, but uh, we're not going to worry about those right now. Um, I think we're, we're pretty good. I mean, I get, you know what? Let's just buy it, right? We don't need to. We can just buy the prototypes. Who cares? Assault, the collector's assault rifle. It's ours. Missile launcher. Yeah, why not? Screw it. We'll buy whatever we want. Eviscerator shotgun. Heck yeah, who cares? We'll get all that stuff. There we go. We're as upgraded as we can be uh, at this point in time. And it is time, finally, to talk to Morden Solis. Shepard, how can I help? I want to talk about you. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with the budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. I knew he did that. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. That makes sense. You said you were in the Special Tasks Group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under a young captain named Kirihi. Studied hey. Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I know Kirihi. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. Hm. Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. No offense taken. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. Hmm, okay. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team, deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago, affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate, stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Huh. So it actually doesn't make them infertile, it's just... Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here, if you need... Slows down what ecology has already kind of, kind of ruined for them. So that's pretty much all that we can get from Morden sure. right now. How can I help? Uh, except for... If we don't talk about him, we can investigate new things like upgrades. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Yes, thank you. So what do you got for us? A Morden Omni Tool. Morden gets 20% tech power damage. Oh, yeah. He built his own Omni Tool and can make significant upgrades. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get him that. Shepard, how can I help? And then, do you have anything Any else? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Sorry, have done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech now. All right, all right. Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned <laughs> expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More I love him. More collector data, tissue samples. Anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. I love him. All right, squad Are there status. Any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. I'll let you Whoop. work. We'll be here if you need me. So Morden now receives 20% uh, tech battle damage stuff. That's cool. That's good news. He's going to pump now, man. He was already going to pump. Let me tell you. Jacob, what's going on, dude? Can I want to talk about you. How you doing? I'm more interested in If just... you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. I just want to be friends, your dude. call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Uh, you don't want to be friends? You sound hesitant, Jacob. Am I putting you on the spot? You're trying to. Sorry if I knee-jerked. Cerberus puts a lot of suspicion in your head. I like you, Shepard. So talk, and we'll see how it goes. Um, you and Miranda have history? I know you and Miranda work together. I got the impression it might have been more than that. It got a little close. Then it got really far apart. The rest isn't your business, Commander. 
Makes sense. You're right. Consider it dropped. I trust you to keep everything professional, Jacob. Thanks. That always bugged me about the Alliance. They didn't let people handle their own problems. It is. I don't, you know? Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. Uh, we'll give them a show. We'll have something to see by the time we're done. No doubt. We'll be right in the middle of whatever goes down. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. You got it, Jacob. Hey, I need to talk to you, actually, though, about uh, Commander. any upgrades you Can think about the ship. So, Normandy upgrades. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? Now that we have more than we they can do this. They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dead before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Yeah, dude. Let's do it. Ship enhancements. Heavy ship armor. 1,500 palladium. Or 15,000 palladium, I should say. The Asari made Solaris armor upgrade is attached to the ship's superstructure. This will help the ship hold together if hit by a blast powerful enough to penetrate its shields. Heck yeah. We just upgraded the armor of the Normandy. Which, by the way, is incredibly important to do. Super, super important. How are we doing, Jay? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. If they don't, we're dead. Seems like that was always a strong possibility, though. Anything else, Commander? Yeah, opinion of the crew. What do you think of this? We don't have a full. All right, Anything we don't have a full compliment. Commander. Yet, so. Definitely, now that Morden is on board, we want to talk to everyone even more than we already did, right? Like I said before, we want to talk to everyone. But... Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, dope. What do we got? On red messages. You're not dead from Emily Wong. Oops, I went too far away. Emily Wong, if you guys remember, says you're alive. How come you broke whatever cover uh, you've been under for two years but didn't offer an exclusive interview? Whenever you come up for air and ready to talk, let me know. Emily Wong, you got it. And then we also have a message. Take care of Garrus from Nala Butler. Commander Shepard, my husband was one of the men serving on Garrus' team. I don't know much about Garrus. I don't know how much Garrus talked to you about what happened. I don't know the specifics myself, only that my husband died in a trap set by those bastard gangs. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot fired at his squad as a failure on his part. And it was clear when he sent me the message about my husband that he thinks it was his fault. My husband would never have wanted that. He was proud of the work he did on Garrus' squad. He was taking back Omega from the gangs. He died fighting with honor. I miss him. God, I'd do anything to get him back, but whatever happened there wasn't Garrus' fault. You're his commander now. Please, if you can, help him stop blaming himself. Please don't tell him I sent you this. Thank you. And healing of your facial scars. I've done further investigation regarding your facial sc uh, scarring, and the old age of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts create adverse reactions with your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. Interesting. There's surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing regardless of your mental outlook. Nice. Thank you, Chakwas. So let's go ahead and actually talk to Kelly. Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. That's true. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. He already oh, yes. is. How's the crew? What's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Dope. Anything else, Commander? Let's chat. I always have time for you, Commander. I don't have anything to say. Okay. Bye. <laughs> maybe we'll talk later. Yeah, maybe we will. We got a med bay upgrade there for the ship, if you yeah, saw I that. I heard about Ferris Fields. Did you lose on your brother? It's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Interesting. Another another colony apparently taken while we're recruiting our team here. And let's see if Joker has anything to say here. I love how we bought so much stuff that it's still upgrading. Commander. How are things in the cockpit? I assume everything's going well up here. It was until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Harmless. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pout. I win. Joker. <laughs> right, right. No hard feelings. Good game. All right, what about the squad? What do you think about the people Well, we're about... Well, it seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. All right, what about the mission? So, how do you well, Normandy's not as ready as she could All be. Right. There's always more we could upgrade. 
As for the crew, you'd have to ask him. Good old days. We're stuck in a weird so I'm place, trying to sure, see if I back can. Then it wasn't all sunshine. Good for now. Yeah, there's see nothing you, that Commander. he can upgrade just yet. Yes, Shepard. No, no. Locking Goodbye. You out, Shepard. All right, let's go. We got we got more people to talk to. So we did just get another ship upgrade, by the way, just from talking to or receiving that that message from Shakwas. So let's actually just go ahead and just do that while we're here. We don't need to because we're going to go talk to other people and be able to upgrade that. But since we're here, you know what I mean? Ship enhancements, med bay upgrades, upgrades medical facilities with advanced dermal regeneration using this unit will immediately and completely heal your scars. Further scarring will not occur regardless of the actions you take. So that cost 50000 and it's actually not really something that is going to affect the uh, the status of, of our mission, right? It's just kind of uh, for cosmetics so you can get the scars removed. We're doing Paragon anyway, so we're going to hold off on that. I don't think that's something that we need to do just yet. Uh, we're not going to go to the captain's cabin just yet. Oh, actually, we do need to. I need to feed my fish. I should go feed my fish. So let's let's go do that. I forgot about my fish, man. I hope they're not dead. Are you dead? No, oh, you're good. Here's some food for you. There we go. We fed him. Also, we can look at how many ships we have now, and we have a bunch. Look at all those. There's the Geth ship there as well. Hi, Liara. I miss you. Uh, I love it. I love it. We can also go ahead and change our armor here, uh, which is something that we should definitely do. So we have types. Uh, the Blood Dragon armor, incredibly, incredibly good. Increases power damage by 15% and increases shield strength by 10%. Uh, but there's other things as well that we can choose. Cerberus Assault armor, which is just, I don't really like the way it looks. Um, but then there's the uh, Collector Armor, which looks disgusting. Uh, and then we have the Inferno Armor, which is actually pretty darn good. It's actually pretty good. Um, that Storm Speed, when you sprint, is actually really good for a Vanguard. But uh, there is a another armor that we're going to get that's even better. But for now, we are going to use the Blood Dragon Armor, just because I think it looks awesome. It just looks so cool. So that's what we're going to use for now. Which means that we're gonna be wearing it in cutscenes, uh, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> I think that'll, I think that'll be cool. So let's go to the cruise quarters now. We talked to Jacob and Morden. Uh, and we want to talk to the rest of our squad. Like I said, most of them will offer uh, insight into maybe how we can. Another colony protect us. missing. Ferris Fields, I heard. Let's see. That's not far from New Canton. Did your family get back to Earth? Not yet. My mother-in-law's given us grief. Operative Lawson assures me the transport team will physically drag them away if need be. Hmm. I hope that's true for your sake. I like that continuing story that we get from them. Let's go check on Kasumi here. Kasumi will not really offer us anything, by the way. There you are. Hi. One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds a way. That's cute. I have to say, that Jacob... Mm. He seems pretty intense. <laughs> I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a pension for kleptomania. I love her so much. Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. I keep expecting to walk in on them bickering about the temperature in the cockpit. <laughs> Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I love Kasumi. She's just great, such a great character. Yeah, she doesn't really offer like, you know, big big insight because she's a DLC character and stuff and they don't want they don't want you to be screwed, but Rupert put the new supplies to good use. Hey, no problem. But still, you know, uh, we can check in with Chakwas. I don't think she's going to have anything news for us to say, uh, really. How may I help you, Commander? Yep. Commander. I just wanted to say hi. Bye. See you later. We don't have access to the AI core yet, but we can go talk to Garrus, who's chilling at the battery. We talked to him last time. He's doing calibrations and all that jazz. My best friend, Garrus. What up, dude? Shepard. Need me for something? Yeah, Normandy upgrades. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Nice. And we can immediately actually just get the Thanix cannon. A Turian designed Thanix magnetic hydronamic cannon is now installed. This cannon is powerful enough to destroy a collector ship with repeated hits. Heck yeah. We're going to go ahead and immediately get that. Shepard, need me for something? Let's see what he says Have you now. Got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapons? My current upgrades are working pretty well. Nice. That's about the best. I just want to talk. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a oh. I'm in the middle of some calibration. As usual. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. As usual. Love you, bud. So we got the Thanix cannons. After the Battle of the Citadel, it said that they 
kind of improve their systems. Miranda! Miranda's so cool. Commander, what can I do My for you? My sister's name is Miranda, so I have like a special. Do you special have a minute, condition. Miranda? You know? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. You're so rude. Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. Perfect. What do we got? We got advanced mineral scanners. I highly recommend, if you don't have anything else, that you get this one first uh, because it's actually going to, it's going to speed up planet scanning by a significant amount. And I highly, highly recommend that you get this one. Uh, it's just, it's just worth it. I don't see why you wouldn't, to be Commander. honest with you. Oops. Of course, Commander. I want to do investigate here. What Normandy status. The crew's working well and okay. the ship appears to be oh. performing. Of course, Commander. So we only have a couple more people to talk to. Zaid, for instance, down in the engineering. And maybe we can check in on Gabby and them. See what they're up to. Zaid, of course, isn't going to offer any upgrades. Uh, but still. Go ahead and see what they're doing. Gunners put some crazy tech into the main guns. It's almost doubled their power draw. Oops. They seem pretty wicked. Indeed. Don't worry. A few tweaks to the forward capacitors and the balance is back in line. Nice. What can we do for you? Set up okay Outside now? of those, just those, we'll just those couplings, moment. which we're gonna wait. We're not gonna get those couplings yet, by the way. Um, just, just, just so that you're aware. We will get them. We're just waiting. We're waiting to receive another, another party member, and then we'll do that. So let's go to cargo and see what Zaid's up to. Zaid, my dude. This mission takes me back. Yeah. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a of Krogan's head. Oh. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. Oh. Yo, so... Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit squad. Two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hannah. <laughs> Damn jellyfish nearly choked me to death. Wore a neck brace for weeks to cover that up. Haven't underestimated a Hanar since. I didn't know that Hanar were I like that. Let you go. Talk more later, Chef. All right, I'll see you, Zaid. Anyways, that's all that we can do now uh, that we've talked to everybody. So, where are we going to go? Because we are not finished just yet. Uh, we do have another dossier that we can potentially look at. The one that we have left right now is we have two we have the warlord and the convict uh jack no last name exceptional biotic ability criminal background currently in custody rumored to be the most powerful human biotic ever encountered actually that's commander query shepherd but whatever it's fine and then the warlord millennia of combat and strategic experience rumored familiarity with collector technology brilliant and brutal krogan warlord we know how powerful krogan are uh, and Dr. Okir seems like somebody that we definitely want on our team. Now, we also do have the loyalty missions for Kasumi, which I actually would recommend doing because the SMG that you get from doing that mission is incredibly strong. And uh, we have the loyalty mission for Zaid, the price of revenge. So we have a lot of things that we could actually do right now. And I think this is, instead of going and recruiting the Warlord, which is something that I, I was actually planning on doing, I think we're going to do something a little bit different my friends we're gonna shake this up we're going to use this mass relay and my friends we are going to the serpent nebula and we're gonna help kasumi i know so using fuel to head to the only other cluster we can go to the boltzmann cluster we'll go ahead and head here and we got some scanning to do before we head to the planet that we need to and very quickly, with every planet depleted, we can head to Beckenstein here to help Kasumi and finish her loyalty mission, which is actually going to be pretty darn cool. So let's go ahead and land. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. The recipient of the first wave of Earth's colonization efforts, Beckenstein's founders had a decidedly less Agarian plan than Eden Prime. The mission's first colony was to become Earth's off-planet manufacturing base. The hum Today's Beckenstein is known as the Humans Ilium, which is uh, the Asari area, a place where new money tycoons flaunt their wealth and the have-nots are rarely spoken of. Over 5 million population here. Guys, this is it. Kasumi's loyalty mission. We are, we have four points that we can actually give her. And I think the best option for that 
uh, going into this is going to be her Shadow Strike. It actually is act uh, incredibly powerful. So that's what we're going to go ahead and equip her with. Very excited for this part. Looking good, Miss Allison Gunn. Hawk won't be able to keep his eyes off you. Allison Gunn? I assume Allison Gunn is my cover. You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Hmm, okay. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. Take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason? You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. That's very nice of you, thank you. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend, Hawk, is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend, Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. What's in the gray box that makes it worth all this trouble? The gray box holds KG's memories. Everything from all the codes and plans he stole to all the time we spent together. Wrapped up in those memories is the secret he stole. KG never told me what it was, but the information got him killed. Well, let's go. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. Remember, when we first recruited Kasumi on the Citadel, she said that this was part of why she was coming along is is so that we would do this. And she already talked to the elusive man who didn't this talk to us stop. about doing it. After you, Ms. Gan. Of course, Kasumi doesn't really need a cover to get in. Hold a moment, ma'am. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem here? No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. A scan of Saren? I don't believe we've met. Donovan Hawk. I've heard a lot about you. Name's Allison Gunn. And though I've heard a lot about you, you've been very busy lately, if the extra net is to be believed. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? Uh... You may pass through, Ms. Gunn. You were invited after all. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. So we have a problem. Care to explain why my friend has to stand outside? I don't like the look of your friend, so she stays outside. Simple as that. Yeah, makes sense. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Sorry, Kasumi. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? Yeah, look at no. her. <laughs> We've never seen each other in person, and no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. Yeah, you look like you might be a little sneaky. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. And she does, because she's awesome. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. Infiltrators have a tactical cloak just like security. that. We'll figure out the next step then. Perfect. 
Now, one of the big things before doing this mission to consider is that the more missions that you've actually done during the game, the more you'll hear the guests talking about them and kind of talking about uh, some of the repercussions, including actually Zaid's, uh, Zaid's loyalty mission and the choices that you make during that, uh, these guests will actually talk about. So if you want the most dialogue or the most overhearing and people hearing about what's going, what's happening in the galaxy and these people's opinion on it, uh, then I would suggest waiting to do this. However, if you're playing Insanity and you want the best SMG in the game, uh, then I highly, highly recommend doing this mission, especially if you're a soldier, it doesn't really matter. But if you're anything that's using power-based stuff, this SMG is incredibly good, so I would recommend doing it. How did you ever contain that situation on Holland? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam, done. Thank goodness. I thought those rabble would dog you for years. These guys are all uh, very wealthy, problematic people. Um, they're all leaders of, of different criminal organizations. Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Uh, really? uh oh. Oh, please. It's wishful thinking at best. Well, that would be, yeah, wishful thinking. That goes to a security room. We'll probably have to get in there at some point. Thank you. Let's case the vault and figure out what we have to do. Yeah, absolutely. What about you guys? You guys say anything fun? No? Okay, fine. We could talk to Donovan if we so choose, or we can continue looking around and see if there's maybe anything that we can find. I like the art. The art is beautiful. Hello, art. Uh, there's also a door that we can bypass here. Hawk's private rooms are off limits without proper clearance. Oh, okay. I'm dying to get in there, but we have to scope out the vault first. We can't bypass the door, so I guess we'll just continue looking around. Obviously, like I said, these people would be saying a lot more if we had done more missions, but we're doing this fairly early. Say, what's that over there? Hawk's bedroom, I believe. Oh. Wow, who's his architect? This is a very impressive place. Or a very large one, at least. Oh, it's pretty impressive as well. I hear Mr. Hawk's vault is exquisite. Who could know? He never lets anyone near it. Hmm, good to know. Maybe we'll find out a way to get in it. You know what I'm saying? There's a data pad here we can pick up. Private Reams. No way we can sneak out of that party. The place is locked down tight and sh security chief Rose in charge. No way Rowe would let that get past her. I'd rather stand around bored on guard duty than risk her wrath. Sorry, Samuel. Chief Rowe, huh? She sounds like a hard ass. I think we'll have to kill her! If we could tap into the guard's communications, I could probably use this information. You can see how many people are arriving here? Look at the city in the... Ah, oh, so cool. It actually is, like... Pretty impressive, the difference between Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2 when it comes to just the environment, you know? What's your read on that Archangel guy? I hear he's dead. Or gone or something. Good riddance, I say. What a lucky guy here, huh? Talking about Archangel, our friend Garrus. Hmm. So we could talk to Hawk, or we can continue... We'll maybe look downstairs, see if there's anything interesting down here. Probably not a place that most people would uh, think a party guest would go to. Oh. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Oh. Awkward. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner. Looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. I think it's going to be a problem. I think we can please. It. Remember who you're talking to. She's the best. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it, KG could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Yes, you Let's are. Let's get to it. She's the best. I really do. I'd, she's awesome. She really is such a cool character. I don't know why we chose Saren, but hey, what are you going to do? Maybe to throw suspicions in case anybody thought I was Commander Cory Shepard, and they were like, never mind. There's no way Commander Cory Shepard would have a statue of Saren. That's impossible. Hawk throws a hell of a party. Yes. I'm not too pleased with the caliber of people he's invited, though. Excuse? You best not be talking about me. I swear I'll smack some heads around. Donovan Hawk. I need to chat. There he is. We can do this. Mm. 
I'm ready now. Let's see what we can do. Ms. Gunn, good to see you. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. No, were you expecting trouble? I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? That's a good Gun. question. In our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me and you are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. What a loser. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Miss Gunn. Good, Once good. Once we find the Thank password, you. we can get past the voice scatter. So now we have to find the password to Donovan Hawks. Hmm. How can we do that? Can we Did bypass? Let me unlock that security room door for you. Perfect. There we go. Oh, you unlocked that was really easy. Wow. Assuming you really are super talented. Ready when you are. Alright, let's do it. We're gonna bypass this door. I think we can do that pretty quickly. We got our ears here that we can do. I think it was this one. Oh no, it was the wrong one. Oh god, I saw. How do you not okay, so we're bypassing this, right? How do you not have I don't know, like a like a like a security thing if the bypass fails. <laughs> no alarm went off. Lucky us, I guess. You can't be back here. And we're gonna go ahead, we're going to uh overload. And hopefully she can we're gonna go ahead and swap. So all I have is a pistol right now. But luck luckily for us. We're gonna go ahead and shadow strike. Never mind, he died. <laughs> I have an idea. See what you can find. Grab this medical station for a metagel, and we can access this wall safe for 7,200 credits, which is very good for me. A data pad here. We can go ahead and read Nance. I have that problem too. So many passwords around here. Can't keep them straight. The password for tonight is Perugia, so it's not even that easy to remember. Actually, it is pretty easy to remember because Perugia is actually the guy that stole uh, the Mona Lisa in real life. That that happened. So that's kind of funny that this guy who's being stolen from his password. Anyways, it's no big deal. The voice scanner means the password is only useful to Hawk anyway. After this party, want to grab some beers? Let me know, Samuels. Got something? Yep. The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. Told you. I tapped their communications. I think we can get past that private room guard. Tell him Chief Rowe sent you. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that voice scatter. You are so cool. She is so cool. How is she so cool? Wish I was that cool. I'm not, though. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this. And it looks like the only real thing that we can do right now, we can talk to Donovan Hawk if we want to. We can take a look at all this stuff. You're actually able to see that there are some things underneath. That's going to be important a little bit later on. Because remember, we do want to cut the power to this place. So let's go ahead and talk to this guard. Hey. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? Oh, back off, bud. I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk's private rooms? They have access, Samuels. They'll stop bothering me. Got it. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Okay, you're clear to go in. Enjoy the party. Yeah, I'll see ya. Kasumi's so good at what she does, man. She's so good. Wow. So I also thought I would point out that if you didn't do that, if you didn't go collect the data pads or anything or any whatever, you can actually head out here and there is an option. Now that these people are gone, you can actually like use the railing to, to go down there and sneak in and that will actually cause you to, you'll actually have a fight on your hand. You'll have to take down three Eclipse guards. Uh, but for us, we don't have to do that. 
so that's pretty easy because we were able to just talk our way in like a, like you do look at these weird are these are supposed to be like relays or i don't really know they almost look like a little weird artistic conduits see so you'll see the eclipse guards actually standing outside wow i would hate to would hate to have to deal with those but we don't have to because we have access we can head into his bedroom look for anything we can get usable dna from just make it quick and quiet we want to examine everything here. It's clean. It's a plant. <laughs> oh, how good is that? All right. So there's obviously, like I said, there's a bunch of stuff that we want to actually look for in here, like a couch cushion. Found a sample. No, a credit shit. Nice. And we'll actually get one credit, which is which is pretty funny. Uh, there's a ashtray here. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. We have a wine glass. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. And some We're papers. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. Hmm. No DNA, but looks like Hawk's been trying to crack KG's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't mm. cracked the encryption yet. Good. That works out for us. A wall safe here that we can bypass, which we definitely want to do because we want all of the money. We should have plenty of time to do this. Easy. 7,800 credits for that. You'll love to see that. Tell you what, we have a lot of shopping to do. Antique weapons. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. It's probably contaminated, though. We should find another sample. Okay, I agreed with you. I love how when you come in and you check the plant, she's like, it's a plant. Alarm Good clock. Morning. Time to wake up. Let's turn that off, please. Sorry. Yeah. Pillow? No hair, no skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. Annoying. And there's a keyboard. I'm sure that's got some stuff on it. Looks like that might be the only thing that we actually have left. Oh, and a data pad, which we should definitely use that. I think that's everything that we can scan, though. Let's go ahead and use this keyboard. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. But on this data pad, a CUDA decryption project update. Little progress. We have now completed dictionary attacks using words and phrases from 4,800 galactic languages. Research into the Akuda family has not produced any matches. It is unlikely that a random brute force approach will produce a result within our lifetimes. That's the gray box that they're talking about, Kaiji Akuda. Given the nature of the gray box technology, it's possible that the decryption key may not be a password at all. It could be a memory, an emotion, even a smell. The permutations could be infinite. I suggest that we begin investigating alternative methods for breaking through the security on the box. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. Perfect. That should do it. Let's get out of here. All right. So that's everything that we can do here. We got DNA. We got a voice sample. We got... The only thing that we have left now is to, uh, you know, turn off the power. That should be pretty easy during a party, and I'm sure nobody will even notice. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I had a lot of fun. I was just... I was just hanging out. No big deal. No big deal. It is too bad that we didn't get to take these guys down because it is it is kind of cool. You can actually sneak up on them and, and just kind of melee them and it'll knock them out. Also, that, that wall safe, something to point out, is if you fail to actually open it, it will alert the guards and the guards will actually come and uh, you have to deal with them. So maybe I should have done that, but I wanted the credits more than I wanted to defeat them. Since you don't get experience for defeating things in this game, it's not really a big deal, right? But we want to find the power source to the barrier. And the way that we do that is we head down here and see if Kasumi notices anything. Maybe there's something that we can use here. Right over here, there's the kinetic barrier power cable. It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. Perfect. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. We'd love to, love to hear it. So now we're going to be kind of following things around and seeing what we can find. Probably be more attentive to me too if I was wearing that dress. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you. This statuette here, we can go ahead and pull it. One sec. Nice that job. Should take care of the barrier. Just like that, we were able to destroy the barrier. I mean, how awesome are we? He's gone. Miss Mr. Donovan. Just like that, we were able to. So normally you'd have to like run around and find it and all that stuff, but we didn't have to do that. I also don't know if any of these paintings, and it's something worth pointing out. Maybe you guys in the comments will know. Are these paintings real in any way? Are they from anything specific? I actually don't know. I'm not like a big, big painting guy. You know, I know the little Mona Lisa thing, but I don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think that. Uh, maybe. I don't know. 
This could just be game paintings. As far as I know. Anyways, that's everything that we can do. And now we have access to the barrier, which that whole vault. Oh, the barrier is down. Oh, it's under the water. Oh, that's neat. I was like, it looks weird now. Let's go ahead and use this. Thanks, appreciate that. So we use the DNA scanner. We have the microphone. And we now head into the elevator, just like that. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. Got to put our uh, our dragon armor on here. Obviously, that by the way, I didn't say this, but it is a reference reference to. Uh, Dragon Age. And that, I believe, is a reference to Ocean's Eleven, which fantastic, by the way. There's my armor. Let's go kick some butt. Now we actually have our weapons back. We're ready to go. Obviously, that means that we're about to have our work cut out for us. It's fine. This is a this is big for Pasumi, right? So you can change your weapons out here. We're not going to. We're going to keep what we have. The Geth plasma shotgun is actually the best shotgun in the game. So for the Vanguard, interesting. His vault is awesome. So this is Hawk's vault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in this on the great. So box. cool. It's not far. Right over here, we can see this Prothean statue. Is it a Prothean statue? It's the one from Ilos. Creepy. It is very creepy. creepy. So she'll kind of comment commentate on this. Michelangelo's David is here. Michelangelo's David. Just wow. Think we could get this out through the door? Probably not. No, I'm strong, but I'm not that strong. A Krogan. We can't actually examine that one. You'll see that we're getting closer to the proximity of the gray box, which uh, is is cool. But we want to examine all this stuff first because that is way cooler, right? I could still get money for something like this, even outside the alliance. I'm sure you Asari could. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. Asari for Egyptian? Ah, I wonder why. Probably because they. I don't know. Statue of Liberty. So this is one of my favorite references. You ready? How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk! <laughs> Planet of the Apes, anybody? So, uh, right over here is the Casa... F oh, that's the gray box. We don't want to touch that yet. Instead, what we want to do is we want to grab... That's a Casa Locust. No. The Casa Locust. The gun that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrowed these. Oh, what's this? Nice. And we just got the best SMGs in the entire game. So that's I'm pretty I'm pretty happy about that. The gray box obviously right next to it, and I don't want to pick that up just yet. There's a Turian ship here we can examine. The model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. Oh. And my favorite, a reference to Dragon Age itself. Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. Imagine this wow. design online doing a Imagine playthrough that of Dragon thing Age. At you in a dark alley. That'd be pretty cool. What about the statue? This is nice. Oddly relaxing. I actually don't really know what this is, to be honest this with you. This is nice. Oddly relaxing. I like don't know what that could possibly be. We'll open that for a meta gel. We might need that. Right here, we can uh, see some pieces of I don't know, maybe maybe slabs from a Rosetta Stone or something. Hawk has good taste. I'll give him that. It's a good-looking Krogan. A Rachni Queen. Rachni Queen. I guess everything's valuable to someone. Hey, I saved the Rachni Queen, so don't give me that. Doesn't look like much, but that might be one of the most valuable pieces here. Turian, Turian art is rare outside of Weird. Paladin. For good reason, I say. Yeah, I also agree with that. I love how the one that's from uh, Dragon Age just says creature. Are following me. Yikes. I just love Kasumi's dialogue. This looks like Quarian script. Oh, it's Quarian. Wow. This has got to be old. 
When was the last time the Quarians rode on stone? Who knows, but that's super cool. That's impressive. Yeah, I guess Not so. sure what it is, though. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, cool, though, I guess. Anyways, when we're ready, we can save and uh, pick up this gray box. All right. We've saved. We're ready. Let's pick up the gray box. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. No one even knows oh we're here. Oh, God. There it is. Don't bother Miss Goto. It's code locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die, screaming, just like you. No! Have I got your attention? <laughs> that shut him up. I'm a fan of that. Kill them. So we have a really good spot. As soon as we come out, we're gonna go into go into cover here. We're gonna get Kasumi to also go into cover, and we're going to immediately switch to our arc projector that we have. Uh, which actually might not be that good here, but we'll see. We're going to go ahead and duck here. Combat drone was taken out. We're going to get some of our health back. We're actually going to switch to our uh, locust here, as well as giving it the incendiary ammo. And hopefully, we can just rip through some of these shields. But we need to be super careful. We're going to go ahead and pop a meta gel and hopefully get uh, Kasumi to actually stay in the cover here. And then we're going to go ahead and hopefully overload. Perfect. Any troopers that we can take out here is going to be one less trooper that we have to worry about. So we're going to duck because I almost just died. We need to watch out for the trooper that's on this side here. We're actually going to go ahead and use uh, Shadow Strike from Kasumi. She said she can't get there, so that's unfortunate. Flashbang going out. We're gonna go ahead and destroy that combat drone real quick. Finish off a couple of these as much as we can. Watch out for that incinerate. Only Chief Row and a couple more are left. We're gonna actually see if we can get uh, an overload on. Unfortunately, that was not able to do anything. Not looking good. Watch the incinerate. This is a really, really good spot for cover, by the way. Uh, it kind of kind of simplifies the entire fight. Now we're going to have Shadow Strike. She should be able to get him. Unfortunately, I can't. There we go. I cannot get Kasumi to, for whatever reason, she, like, refuses to Shadow Strike. All right. She's able to do it on, on Chief Ro. Perfect. We're gonna get her to come back. Burn the Taking cover. Ah. You're able to see that the armor on Chief Row is already now gone. We're gonna go ahead and overload on this guy here. Or not. Light him up. I don't know why some of her abilities just aren't working. Ah. 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 Like that? Chief Row down. We're actually just going to go ahead. Duck here. Woo. Oh, man. I almost just died by accidentally getting up there. So we're going to wait. We're going to want to charge in here. Actually, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to have Kasumi silence strike him. Or shadow strike. Now you see me. I think he's dead. <laughs> I think. Checking blueprint. Yeah, I think we just annihilated. There's a landing him. pad to the east. Let's get out of here. Perfect. Joker, bring the shuttle in now. We gotta, we gotta go. We gotta get out of here real quick. We have a weapons loadout that we can use. We wanted to uh, change our weapons, which we don't. We have great weapons. Uh, actually, you know what? We do want to change. We want to change to the missile launcher. I think. 
and also uh if you switch anything out it will reload your your ammo so you can kind of just if you were if you were getting low you can just refill everything and be totally fine all right let's go ahead and open this door this place looks whoa automatically getting attacked as soon as we walk through here you can see how much damage the geth uh the geth plasma shotgun actually did there i you know and i actually realized that i don't even think i explained that but the geth what makes the geth shotgun incredibly strong is that you can charge it up so unfortunately we are dealing with a yamir mech there we're gonna go ahead i don't know if that did anything to that yamir mech which isn't great we're gonna wait see if we can get kasumi to shadow strike this guy okay. Oh, yeah, she did it. Okay, great. And then we'll charge. Wait for the overload. Put the incendiary ammo on. These Yumir mechs can be a little bit of a problem, and we'll be facing these, you know, countless times. It actually looked like... We're going to get a little bit closer to the Yumir mech here. I think if we switch to the locust we can actually potentially shred through its shields but we're gonna wait for there we go perfect we're gonna go ahead and shadow strike with kasumi yet again be a little bit careful there hopefully kasumi is able to get away and she was because she's awesome Wait for this to finish shooting. We're gonna go ahead and shadow strike yet again. Hopefully she, the people behind her, look at how much damage that does. Ymir mech going low. And it's dead. As long as that goes down, we are fine. You'll see the locust, the accuracy on this thing, just absolutely beautiful able to shred through these eclipse guys no problemo and i think we actually have another one up ahead that we can take out but oh, we have actually more than one i thought we only had one there so that was that was definitely my bad we're gonna go ahead we're actually going to overload this guy here that's hopefully gonna hit multiple people overload specialist done we're gonna go ahead and uh shockwave here unfortunately hitting the missing the one target that would have worked on go ahead and overload that this guy looks like a potentially a oh it's a vanguard okay perfect so we're actually going to switch to our our geth plasma shotgun here we'll charge done damn it we have to find another way Okay, sounds good to me. Heavy charge, just so good, you know? It just feels so good. When you charge in there and you just annihilate them, it just feels good. So we saw that there was a data pad that we can hack actually up on the top there, but I just wanted to take a look. You know, why are a lot of... This place looks destroyed, and I'm, I'm very curious as to why. Did somebody else attack this place before we did? I don't know. I just don't know. It's very neat, though, that this place even is a thing, right? It's kind of cool. This guy's got a pretty... This guy's a target man hopefully we take him out because i feel like donovan hawk here would be very dangerous to leave alive he doesn't seem like the type of guy that would you know let you leave all right let's go ahead and pack this pda here we need to find uh some blue text here we're not having any luck so far it's not great looks like this one is one of those and uh right here and we need a bunch of orange right here perfect 4200 credits for that Whew, i was a little nervous i thought maybe we weren't going to be able to but we did every time it's like a little a little stressful let's go ahead and open the door and whoa no that doesn't look good we need we definitely need this thermal clip for our shotgun shotgun looking a little bit low let's actually go ahead and switch to our new smg 
So as soon as we walk into this room here, we're gonna have to deal with these three guys that are gonna pop up, we're gonna overload, and then hopefully take out at least a couple of them before it gets a little too crazy. And we're gonna go ahead and duck, watch out for our health regeneration here because we don't want that to go away. We're actually gonna go ahead and potentially, if I can, shockwave here. Wait for Unity to pop up. Get Kasumi back. That Locust SMG is just so good. A heavy also showing up. So we need to just watch out and make sure that we're not accidentally uh, opening ourselves up to that. There's the heavy. We're going to go ahead and Kasumi is going to silence strike it. Potentially kill, almost killing it entirely outright. Now we need to watch out for other things that are going to start appearing now. All right, Kasumi, uh, the the thing is dead. Now there actually is something that we can do over here. So if we run up, we can grab this and we can fire that cannon, which will actually destroy a hole into the wall and will allow us to actually uh, proceed, which is pretty nice. We can also grab this spare parts for 4,800 credits. And we definitely want to uh, go make sure that we get everything around this room and hopefully none of those wake up either because that would be just bad. I just like that you can use the the cannon there to just destroy all of the enemies that are popping up. It actually is possible too to just walk over, ignore all the enemies and just, just shoot the whole it would probably destroy all of them. Anyways, before we head in there, we want to head in this room. Grab these spare parts for another 1,200 credits. You'll love to see it. I recommend saving your game here as well. And once you drop down here, you will not be able to come back. So uh, it's creating a save just in case we missed something, which I don't think we did, but you never know. We'll come down here and we'll see. This is where we just destroyed. There was apparently some more Eclipse Guards. Immediately, we're going to see from across the way here that we have a bunch of enemies. We're going to see what we can do. Maybe get a big overload on this guy here. Finish the Solarian Eclipse Trooper. Just make sure that this Ymir mech does not hurt us at all. Unfortunately, Kasumi going down. I'm not too worried about that at this point in the game, to be honest with you. I think we'll be okay. I lied. We're going to get her up. You got it. No, no, no. I want you to go there. 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 <laughs> she does not want to listen to me. She's like, no, no, no. I'm not going anywhere. Anywhere you tell me. Watch out for that heavy in the back. Whoa. I actually don't know what just happened there. Go ahead, Shadow Strike. She can't Shadow Strike? Okay. Get her to go back. She's going to overload this guy here. We want to watch out for that heavy in the back there. That's the main thing that I'm trying to pay attention to. Those rockets are coming very close to my face. The Ymir mech is luckily in a spot where it's it's it actually can't hit us right now. So we're in a good spot with that. Watch out for this heavy. See if we can actually switch to our cannon here, which is actually perfect for us. Take down this heavy in the back. Perfect. So now all that's left is the Ymir mech, and we don't really need to worry too much about that. It's dead. Look at that. I think we handled that pretty well. We didn't use any heavy we weapons, which is actually really nice. I'm a big fan of not having to use stuff when we don't need to, you know? And being able to make sure that we have it for later on. All right, and we need to move on now that everything's defeated. Make sure we're keeping an eye out. Oh no! 
Oh, jeez, that was bad. I was paying attention to the... Oh, jeez. So make sure you get into cover right away because uh, I almost didn't, and that would have been real bad for me. Let's go ahead and shadow strike here. We are definitely going to need to switch uh, some guns here. We have another guy over here that we're going to wait. Actually, we're going to use overload. And then hopefully... We're going to go ahead and potentially... Oh, no. We're going to go ahead and hide here. We can kind of use this as cover, even though we're not technically in cover. That was that was a little hairy. That was a, that was a on, on command uh, uh-ohs, you know? All right, so we're actually going to use her overload to destroy this here. Oh, that sucked. Whoa, almost missed that heavy there. Apparently, that heavy can shoot through. Good to know. All right, so now we're actually going to switch to the shotgun. We're just going to go ahead and finish this off. Can't target them. <laughs> oh, God, that feels good. Let's go ahead and open this med kit here. We have another room. We don't want to go in just yet. We want to examine this dead Merc. We can use this. For a tech damage upgrade boost that we can then research and have some, some big tech damage coming. Overloads, incinerates, cryos, all that jazz. Just doing so much. We actually haven't seen cryo yet because we haven't taken Morden Solus on anything. Uh, but he is going to be a force to be reckoned with in a ton of missions. And I'm, I'm so excited for that. I don't know what that noise just was, but I'm scared. Is there some... Did we miss somebody? Okay, I think we got everything. So we want to be ready for even more combat here. As soon as we go in here, we're going to have to deal with some stuff. I recommend the first place we're heading is actually going to be into this shipping container here. On our right. Where we can actually get some pretty decent cover. We're going to have Sumi come in here, actually. See if we can take out these guys right in here. Where do they go? Hello? Anyways, we can grab this uh, platinum here while we wait to find out where the hell the enemies just went. Okay, that was super weird. I was like, hello? They just disappeared. We're gonna go ahead and overload. I feel like they're not even there we go. It's like, they're not even shooting at us right now. Go ahead and grab this real quick. Watch out for the heavy and the vanguard that's right here. Hopefully we have more. Perfect. Now we're actually going to... Where'd that vanguard go? Perfect. Okay. Oh, back to the Oh, jeez, that's bad. We're going to go ahead and actually use you. Uh, that, that, was, that was sketchy. Where did she go? Where did she go? Where did she go? Where did she go? We want to get a shadow strike out here. Now you see me. Perfect. Up ahead. Quick. Can't reach the target. We'll charge shotgun. Check. Perfect. All right, so we only actually have a few left, including this heavy, which we're going to wait. I think that person's dead. Let's go ahead and grab this PDA while it's right there. We're charging right through the rocket. Perfect. Nice. That was easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's go ahead and climb up here. And there's a, another. I could have sworn I just saw. Uh, there's more resources and all that that we can grab here as well. So we want to just pay attention. Make sure we get as much as we can. Salvage parts over here for 1,800 credits. And there should be some resources here as well. So obviously going to the left there into that cover is kind of one of the best positions you can go into because no one, they're not going to, they're like barely going to do anything, right? We got some platinum. I could have sworn I could have sworn I saw palladium as well.
But I don't think so. I'm not seeing any more. If there was, it's gone. I think there's still stuff we're missing, though. Right over here, we can grab a storage crate, which is going to contain 1,200 credits. All right, I think we got everything there. We should have gotten about uh, 1,300 credits or so and 1,000 platinum from doing that. Actually, we should have even gotten even more credits than that. Let's make sure that we save here. We're going to do a... Uh, we're actually just going to do over this one here. Perfect. Go ahead and open this door. I think we're going to have our work cut out for us here. What is this? Well, here we go. All right, so we need to deal with this. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We do not want to stay where we are and cover, actually. We want to go this way here and drop down. This is actually where we want to be kind of hiding out. We do not, do not, do not want to be anywhere else. We actually have respawning thermal clips on this side. Let's actually see if we can get Kasumi to come over here as well after she overloads that mech. We want to duck here. We want to watch out for Donovan Hawk's ship that he's got. But more importantly, we also want to make sure that we're dealing with all of these mechs and everything that we can deal with. So we're going to go ahead and unfortunately, Kasumi did die. So we're going to get her up and get her into cover. We're going to finish this mech real quick. Perfect. Lay down your weapons. Go ahead and pop this and put our in, uh, incendiary ammo back on. Hopefully finish this guy off. Perfect. Need to watch our health as much as we can. Kasumi doing Kasumi things instead of coming over here like I've tried to ask her to do multiple times now, but she doesn't want to listen. Let's go ahead and finish the Solarian. Actually, can't potentially get it. Right she can't do that. So the Donovan Hawk's gunship is actually going to be what gives us the most problems here. And I think what we want to do is... Unfortunately, I didn't see any of those missiles actually hit. Uh, oh, it did hit. It just took a long time to hit. Wait for those to hit. Wait for those to hit. You're seeing the damage get done. Those are, uh, they will actually follow and they will, they will hit him as he flies around on the missile launcher, which is why the missile launcher is actually pretty good for this mission. Fortunately, those seem to go all which ways, not actually hitting him. His shield's being restored, unfortunately, as he goes into his phase two, if you will. We'll go ahead and charge. Reload. We'll duck here. We're actually going to switch to our shotgun with incendiary. Make sure we get that incendiary ready to go. This is definitely the hardest part of Kasumi's loyalty mission. We'll go ahead and overload this. We'll go ahead and actually charge here. Uh, and that is actually just to get our shields back. Go ahead and uh, wait a little second here and then hopefully charge this. Apparently I missed there. We just want to be a little bit careful heading back to hopefully where Kasumi is now. Perfect. His ship is launching on this side. We need to watch out for these guys as well. We're going to go ahead and overload. And then potentially Back into full shield. yeah he's got full shields now so we want to wait just a second 
So if Kasumi can get close to the ship, which is what we want. Actually, we're going to overload this guy. Then wait for him to finish shooting. We're actually going to charge. Shockwave. Take that down. We need to back up. Get in the cover where we were before. Destroy that Loki mech. Watch out for the heavy that's sitting on that ship right there, or that truck. We're actually going to see if we can shadow strike. Looks like she can. Let's go ahead and charge. Back up. Charge again. Unfortunately, that didn't work, so we just need to watch our sides here. Make sure nobody approaches. And Shadow Strike on that. Unfortunately, the enemy she was fighting is now gone. Here we go! Got a clear shot. Here we go. Let's do it. So just like the other gunship, we actually want to get back to where we were because it will put us where we started the fight. And that is not a good spot to be in. That is not a place we want to be in. So we do not want to stay there. We're actually going to go ahead and equip the Carnifex here. Uh, wait for him to kind of we can fire, fire, fire some shots. And we actually want to deal with, there is a bunch of guys over here that we're going to want to overload. And then we want her to be in cover. Super, super important that she does not run out like she's doing. The Loki mechs are the biggest problem. Because they will keep advancing on you because they don't care. So they'll just, they'll keep coming at you. And you don't really want them to attack you. You don't want them to keep pressing their advance, right? So always, always, always focus on attacking those first. I'm gonna go ahead and try to overload this guy. We're gonna charge. Perfect. Switch to, oh, we're just gonna charge him. Perfect. And then we just need to watch out for Donovan. Wait for him to finish shooting. Let's see if we can do... We're doing pretty significant damage. Just watch out for those... The, the rocket launchers are probably going to be your biggest concern here. More enemies are actually coming in, uh, including a heavy. So what we want to do is get back to where we were before without dying. Use this positioning here. Hopefully we can do some damage before these guys even really step foot over here, including this heavy. We need uh, Kasumi to get in the cover. Kasumi's down. That's a Loki mech there, so we're going to have her just Shadow Stealth it. 
and a trooper over here as well. Gonna go ahead and hopefully she can overload soon. Wait for her to get that. Nope. That was not good. That hurt. All right, so we're gonna wait for this trooper, and I'm hoping that maybe can't do that right now. she can't do it. All right, so what about now? Can't get there. Really? You can't get there? Can't do it. You kidding me? <laughs> Kasumi, come on, girl. Glad that doesn't kill me, but we're actually gonna go ahead and charge. Nope, we're actually not. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Then we just need to be careful. We're going to grab this med kit real quick. In fact, straight ahead. more enemies coming up over there. We're going to try to immediately overload, which we were able to do on the heavy there. And then we want to deal with these Loki mechs as well. Um, so we're going to kind of hang out for a second. What did you tell your friend, Kasumi? You're doing this for love? Wait for Shadow Strike. Hopefully she pops it to take out this Loki mech. Unfortunately, she didn't, so I had to help her out. Another Loki mech coming in for her. We'll go to Shadow Strike. All right, cool. She popped Dark. Perfect. We could focus on Donovan here. You kind of ignore... Perfect. I realized he was pretty low on health, and I was like, you know what? Might as well just make sure he goes down. Let's go ahead and grab this uh, medical gel or medical station here. Donovan Hawk, a guy that probably would have been the end of us, is now dead. And look, our shuttle's here as well. Perfect. You'll love to see it. I would definitely recommend just going around and grabbing all of this, even if you don't need the meta gel. Uh, power cells work. I wish I would have saw those earlier hey chat comments there's power cells there so if you if you have the rocket launcher equipped and you could do that you can actually if uh so what i did is i took down his shields which you don't have to do you can actually just take down the waves of enemies over and over but if you take down his shields you have less waves that you have to deal with so uh it's kind of up to you pick your poison on that how you want to deal with that but my friends that is kasumi's loyalty mission let's go ahead and use the shuttle and see what happens next i'm excited Let's go ahead. Let's let's do this. There's nothing up on this platform at all, except for this meta gel or med kit. Let's take the shuttle back to the Normandy. It's so I I love her loyalty mission. I think it's super fun. we found is all here it's big Kasumi if the council ever got wind of this the Alliance could be implicated Kasumi I I encrypted the information to keep it safe and I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box so no one could get the whole package but if I'm dead and if anyone knows about this then I've made you a target my love I'm so, so sorry. Keiji. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi. Destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I, I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. 
I love you. Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He laced the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. Hawk knew you had the cipher. I'm sure others do too. It's only a matter of time before someone finds you and the secret gets out. You're right. I know. I just... It feels like I'm losing him. Again. If it's easier, I could do it for you. I... Okay. Just get it over with. Please. trophy broke by blind in bedlam which i think is also a reference to oceans 11 by the way uh we did level up we got 750 experience for that the heist was successful keiji okuda's gray box was recovered and all information contained within was destroyed donovan hawk was killed in the destruction of his gunship sumi is loyal and we get her power flashbang grenade which we actually already have we have a new outfit for kasumi we have the locust which is why we did this mission in the first place right now tech damage uh, which we're definitely going to upgrade. And credits. We actually got, because we found that one credit shit, uh, we actually got 60,000 credits for this mission. 2,000 platinum. You'll love to see it. It feels good. And we're still in our fancy attire. Nice. Good for us. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, I did. Okay. What do we got? Oh, we have... We have some stuff. The big one that we'll look at right now is uh, based off our mission that we just did with the professor. Commander, I wanted to thank you again for saving me from those Batarians. I thought I'd seen the worst of people's anger and fear at Dr. Solace's clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was keeping in check, how bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead. Thank you. The clinic is doing well. You got rid of most of the plague, and I've been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. The Blue Suns keep offering to take over security here. I keep the mechs powered on. I won't make the same mistake twice. Nice sweet uh so that's done and there's nothing from that but uh yeah so kasumi my friends is now loyal which is super cool our first she's actually our first person to to be loyal so why don't we check on her we've done our first of as many uh squad mates as we have loyalty missions which is pretty pretty awesome i was just thinking about you nice i really appreciate your help with the hawk heist Yes. I know why we had to destroy Keiji's gray box, but it doesn't make it any easier. You could you could totally keep it as well, but uh, it sounded like uh, Keiji wanted her to get rid of it. Edie has a wicked sense of humor, or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes <laughs> she seems like a person, but when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. Same. This one security guy keeps staring at me. I think his name is Bert. I'm used to being watched by security. But they're usually staring at my eyes or watching my hands. I might have to start cloaking through the CIC from now on. I don't know. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk That's about. It's cute. Someone's got a crush on... Crush on Kasumi. So we still have stuff. There's nothing new, actually, that you can you can look for. I think if you have the gray box, if you decide to keep it, I think, I think it's actually in here and you can look at it. I could be totally wrong. Um... Go ahead and research this. We have uh, the med bay upgrade, which we could do. We have the armor upgrades, uh, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do the tech damage, which isn't going to increase it by 30% now, which is pretty wild. But then we also got tech cooldown. Squad bonus, 20% faster cooldown on tech abilities, which is awesome. So, yes, we're going to equip that as well. Uh, we use element zero for those, so I just want to point that out uh, as we go, which is, which is pretty cool to have that stuff. We're going to wait a little bit on everything else. But, my friends, that means that Kasumi is loyal. But anyways, that is going to be it for today's episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. 
Uh, being able to complete Kasumi's loyalty mission and the, the dialogue that we had before the mission started, I know these are longer episodes, but I do think it is the best way to do them is just to have everything in one episode. So in the next episode of Mass Effect 2, we are going to actually take on Zaid's loyalty mission, uh, which I think will be super fun and uh, give us a little more insight into his character. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and comment. It really does help out these videos. And I will see you in the next one. Never give up. Never surrender to Donovan Hawk. That son of a gun. He's dead. Who even cares? Bye, everyone.